Okay. Once you're in Adobe Illustrator, you're going to go to File, New File, and well, I'm just gonna let it stay on the settings that it is already in. Hey, and what's happening, guys? My name's LTHH Official, and I'm glad that you're watching to this very first Illustrator tutorials so as you can see i'm in alex's room and yeah alex isn't here so i'm gonna do this because it's gonna be my series on his channel and i hope you're going to like it in this very first video of the adobe illustrator tutorials i'm gonna show you how to add a drop shadow to text um, it isn't very difficult it is pretty much easy to do so uh yeah let's jump right into it so once you're in adobe illustrator you're going to go to file new file and well i'm just gonna let stay on the settings that it is already in so yeah i have like this and then uh, you're going to go to text and i'm gonna type my name lth -H official like this i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and how to make it bigger is with control and then you can drag it it's the easy way and then i'm going to move it a little bit um if you want you can also fill it with another color i'm gonna take it with like a bluish and then we have like a bluish color then what you're going to do you make sure it is selected then you're going to effect and you go in the drop down menu you go to stylize and you take drop shadow once you're in drop shadow you're going to pick um, you're going to take preview so you can see it here and you can choose in this in the mode drop down menu you can choose from screen isn't really necessary because you have a white background here you can do it otherwise if you have like a black background but i'm just uh, just gonna let it stay and multiply uh, you can choose with the opacity with the offsets and the blur i'm gonna do 10 blur because i like it when it's like a little bit less but you have it you can also pick out darkness or you can choose like a color if you want like a more bluish because it fits your color of your text you can tick ok and your text is done i'm gonna do it again real quickly i'm not gonna save it it doesn't matter so file new uh doesn't matter now so um then we're gonna go to text we can create text lthh official there we go to control and then you can stretch it and then you can press v and you can move it like this okay and then I'm gonna create another back, uh, like another, I'm gonna fill it with another color like red. And then, okay, we have like a red text. We go to drop down menu from effects. We go to stylize, stylize, and then drop shadow. In the drop shadow, you're gonna take preview that you can see it. And now it's like a blue color. It is the preset from the last thing I did. Um, we can make it like red and like dark red if you want then tick ok if you want you can mess around with the opacity and with the offsets i'm gonna do the blur a little less this is a little too much um i'm gonna let it on three i like this how it looks like this so i'm gonna tick ok and we're done so that was it for this video guys for this week i hope you enjoyed and i hope you find it helpful make sure to smack that like button for me subscribe on my channel on lthh official uh, link will be in the description and also subscribe on just alex helford's youtube channel thingy because i'm gonna upload uh, weekly videos on this channel i'm gonna upload on saturday it is 12 p.m pst so that's 9 p.m ct on saturday of course i hope to see you next time Fuck. and i hope to see you next time Peace. I can't even explain. I'm so freaking happy. This is like. So I'm here with Bjorn today. I'm gonna go to the uh, like this Belgian Dutch YouTube. This is the second update, and I did blind respectfully like, dude, reacting small videos. Awesome that you guys want to do this new video, and this is not gonna be a car tutorial as usual. It's Tuesday, so it's a new video for you guys. Alex, what do we need to do to join or participate in the giveaway? How are you gonna pick the winner?